Now, I would like to start to arrange my video material in the timeline, and in doing so, show you some of the basics for working in the timeline. I can view the first clip I would like to place in my timeline in the preview window by double clicking. As we previously saw, I can view it and specify a start and end point from the preview window. To work more quickly, I can use my left mouse button to drag the position pointer here, and in doing so, I can scroll through my clip. Here, I can see towards the end of the clip that a window frame comes into view, and as I don't want to see this, I will set the out point here, so that just this part of the clip will be used. I would like to place this first edit of the clip in my timeline, and so that we can work somewhat better in the timeline, I will increase the timeline area, and in doing so, my preview window becomes a bit smaller. I can now see that the timeline has various tracks. And if I want to insert a clip from my preview window, there are various possibilities. The first way I will insert the clip is by using these controls here. Here we have the options Overwrite to Timeline and Insert to Timeline. I will use Overwrite to Timeline first, and with this option, by clicking this button, my clip will be placed at the current locator position in the timeline. If I haven't worked in my timeline yet, the position will certainly be at zero, and I can move this cursor using my left mouse button to any location in the timeline. If I want to be certain that the cursor is at the beginning, I can press the home button on my keyboard, and it will jump to zero. My preview window has turned black, and that is because we are now working in the timeline, and the preview window is showing the timeline. To see my clip again, I can double click it in the bin, and it appears in the preview window with the correct in and out points as they have been remembered. Now I would like to use the overwrite to timeline option to insert at the current position. And here we can see an extra column to the left. This is the mapping column, and it shows with a V video and with an A audio tracks where the clip will be placed. To start with, we will use the default setting of 1VA, which is correct as on this track, both the video and the audio tracks will be placed together. And so, by clicking on my overwrite to timeline, the clip is placed with both video and audio on this track. And we can check this by going to the start position and playing directly from the timeline. And because the timeline is active, we can see the clip from our timeline. I can see the image and hear the audio. So I can be sure that the clip has been inserted correctly. Now I would like to talk some more about mapping. And to do this, I'll open another clip in my preview window by double clicking it in the bin. I'll choose this display table. and I'd like to use it up to this point, so I'll mark the out point with set out point. Now I'd like to place the audio from this clip on a separate track, and to do this I just choose the audio symbol for audio channel 1 to stereo audio, and with my left mouse button held, I can move it to another track. I can see that I cannot place it here, as that is a video track, but I can place it here below in one of the audio tracks and I'll choose audio track 1A. If I now use the overwrite to timeline function, then the clip is placed at the current location, but with my mapping options. And I can see that I have two clips, one here representing video data, and one here to represent the audio data. The audio was therefore placed on track 1A. So that's just some extra detail concerning the mapping track. It can be very useful for advanced insert techniques, but for our beginner's tutorial, we will just use the standard settings. And I can reset to these settings by right mouse clicking and choosing the Reset Source Channel Mapping option. And I would recommend using this for all users. 
If something has been changed here, just use the right mouse and choose Reset Source Channel Mapping and the base settings are restored.